Is it possible to create a Big Bang? Or, excuse me, a black hole? Is that is it possible, theoretically, um, to have enough power? Like, if you don't have it right now with the Large Hadron Collider, is it possible that a larger machine will be created and human beings can recreate a black hole? Yes, um, it's possible. Yes. And it's possible if you have extra dimensions in the universe. Right, so the, the thing is that, so we know, gravity is a very weak force. It's by far the weakest of the four fundamental forces of nature. B billions and billions of times weaker than the other ones, which you can tell because you can pick up, you know, a phone, even though the planet, planet Earth is trying to stop me doing that and I can just resist the pull of planet Earth. So gravity is very weak. So that gives you a clue that you can say, well, what energy, how far do I have to go back in time, if you like, in, towards the Big Bang before it's so hot that, that, that gravity is as strong as the other forces. The strength of the forces varies, I should say, with, with, with energy. So they change. So the, and we've seen this behavior. So, so two of the forces, so-called electromagnetism, which is the most familiar one, electricity, that one, uh, and the weak nuclear force, which is one of the forces that operates in the atomic nucleus, they are the same force. They're manifestations of the same force. And we've seen this experimentally. And in fact, the Higgs boson is part of that process. And so we've seen the energies that, that they become the same force. So the idea is the other force, the strong nuclear force, if you go to higher energies and temperatures, converges. And then you have some things called grand unified theories. And then gravity makes its lethargic way back and, and unifies with them at something called the Planck energy, which is an immensely short time scales after the origin of the universe, if you want to talk. Very, very hot. So it's so a way in excess of anything. You, so, so if you just want to just create black holes in a lab, then the naive thing is you'd have to go to those energies and there's nowhere in the universe you'd never do it. You'd have a particle accelerator to the side of the observable universe and it wouldn't be big enough. If you allow extra dimensions in space, so you ima imagine that, so we would live in a three-dimensional space and then there's time as well, so we've got four dimensions. If you allow there to be five or six or 13, I think the string theory, they, they keep changing their mind. What you can do is you can arrange for that energy scale at which gravity becomes important to, 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 to come up so the temperatures to drop. So you can, arrange, you can arrange in some contrived way to get to the point where you could possibly uh, access gravity, see gravity in action, as it were, in particle accelerators. And in that case, you, you would produce we, we, little black holes which would then evaporate away very quickly we think through a process called Hawking radiation and they'd be, they'd be gone. So, so you can conceive of a way that you could if given <laughs> so a big of a leap that there are extra dimensions in the universe and given that they're configured in the right way that you can imagine that you could do it.